Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, so I want to come on here and talk about the whole Van Lathan situation. So if you guys do not know, Van Lathan is the black guy. Well, Van Lathan was one of two black guys on TMZ. He was recently fired. He's the one who confronted Kanye West when he came up there talking about, you know, slavery was a choice. So anyways, it was announced early this week that Van Lathan was fired. And Van Lathan basically took to social media, said he was good, he'll be okay. So at that point, a lot of people did not know why he was fired. Then it came out that Van Lathan was fired for choking um, a co-worker named Michael Babcock. So they're saying that him and Michael Babcock got into a really heated discussion. They were arguing and Van Lathan said something to the point of, you're never to embarrass me like that again on live television. And then he proceeded to choke the hell out of Michael Babcock, okay? And then there were still shots of Van Lathan floating around the internet with his hand around Michael Babcock's neck. So I'm like, well, damn, that's kind of messed up. You know what I'm saying? Because yes, you can disagree with people and get into it, people, but you can't go around choking your coworkers, okay? And what I find really funny is that TMZ, who loves to report from other people's businesses 24-7, they were hella quiet when concerning this whole Van Lathan situation, okay? Not a real peep. Nothing was really in-depth from TMZ now that it was concerning one of their own. But yet and still, when it comes to other people's business, they have all the damn details, death certificates, marriage certificates, all types of stuff, right? So anyways, as of yesterday, the video of Van Lathan supposedly choking Michael Babcock, it just leaked online. And when I saw this video, I was just like, really? Really, bitch? Really? Y'all go ahead and check this out and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. Really, Michael Babcock, your weak ass was really threatened and, and upset about that. Why did the news reports, when this first came out, I really thought Van Lathan was choking this dude, like how Homer Simpson be choking Bart. Why you little? That's what I was damn expecting. Why you little? But that's not what happened. Van Lathan literally just put his hands on his neck and was whispering in his ear, talking to him. You could tell he was kind of upset, but he didn't like, you know, choke him and strangle him. Michael Babcock didn't pass out in his desk from, you know, strangulation and being choked. What the fuck are they talking about? It's like, you know, they, they, they just try to hype stuff up all the time. He should not have been fired for that. Reprimanded, yes. Spoken to, yes. HR intervention to keep them away from each other, yes. But I don't think what he did warrant him being fired and everything else. Was he kind of aggressive? Possibly. But the way the mainstream media was making it seem was like this crazy, irate black man ran after this white guy for having a simple opinion and choked him like Homer Simpson does Bart Simpson. And that's exactly what did not happen. So I'm gonna need the mainstream media to sit the fuck down on this one, okay? And I find it really funny, like I said, how TMZ is so quiet about this situation concerning two of their own employees. But when it comes to everybody else's business, honey, they're the first ones they're reporting live from everybody else's shit, okay? So this entire situation is a hot damn mess. I'm sorry you were fired, Van Lathan, but one thing I will say is this, what I've learned in life is that when one door closes, another one shall open. And maybe this is what you needed to get off your ass Get off of TMZ because you're obviously a very conscious brother. He has a podcast called The Red Pill or something like that. You know, you're obviously a little bit too conscious, a little bit too aware for TMZ. But I understand, you know, that's a big platform. People know you because of TMZ. But I think maybe this firing, okay, may be a blessing in disguise because now you can go and work for yourself. You already have the industry connections. You know a lot of celebrities. You know a lot of people in the industry. So now you can bring them on your own platform and interview them and, you know, talk to them and, and things like that. 
So, you know, I don't think this is the end of Van Lathan. Van Lathan will be all right. He's an excellent journalist. You know what I'm saying? He has a dope personality. So he'll be fine. But I just hate this narrative that the mainstream media was pushing that Van Lathan choked the hell out this, you know, this, this, you know, this weak little white man was assaulted and choked by Van Lathan. And now that the video's out, we see that's not the case at all. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation, honey, concerning Van Lathan's video finally leaking online and basically the video being a dud because everything it was hyped up to be, it damn sure wasn't, okay? I was thinking he not only choked him till he passed out, he stomped on his damn forehead or some shit. But none of that happened, thank God. But I just don't like the way that the media try to hype it up like that's what damn happened. So anyways, y'all, if you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit the thumbs up. And most importantly, don't forget to hit that notification bell. So that way you can be down with the notification squad, honey. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right. Deuces.